Hello Scale Modelers from YouTube and welcome to my channel. This is my entry video for the Ford Mustang 60th Anniversary Group Build. The group build is hosted by Mike at Scale Speedworks YouTube channel. In the description down below, I have a link for Mike's channel as well as for this group build presentation video. Please check both links and if you haven't already, subscribe to Mike's channel. If you also want to participate in this group build, leave also a comment on Mike's presentation video. In any case, the build rules are very simple. First, make an entry video with hashtag Mustang60 in the title or description. Second, build a Mustang. Any scale, any manufacturer, start it or not. And third, post your completed build on April 17, 2024. No sooner. I really like Mustangs, therefore, I'm glad to be part of this group build. In this entry video, I would like to share with you my already built Mustangs. Also, the Mustangs that I have in my stash waiting to be assembled, and which one of those is my choice to build in this group build. So, let's start by looking at my Mustang builds. The first one is this 1965 Ford Mustang 2 Plus 2 Fastback. The kit is from Revell, number 07065, in 1 24th scale. I built it box stock, and it was one of my first new kits that I built right after my return to the hobby. This one is from 2020. Next, we have this 1968 Shelby Mustang GT500. The kit is from AMT, number 2215 in 125th scale. I built it also in 2020. I got this kit unbuilt, but with some parts missing, like the wheels, that are from my parts box, and the decals or leftovers from other kits. This one is a 1971 Ford Mustang Boss 351. The kit is from MPC, number 6249, in 125th scale. Another kit that I got with some missing parts, and it was built also during 2020. This is a 1993 Ford Mustang Mach 3. The model kit is from Revell Monogram, number 85, 6645, in 125th scale. The 93 Mach 3 is one of the most well-known Mustang concept cars, and this is one of my restored kits from last year. I have a video with that restoration here in my channel. Here is a 1996 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra convertible. The model kit is from monogram number 2460 in 125th scale. This is one of my builds from 2021, but unfortunately one of the side mirrors is missing. I hope one of these days I can find a replacement. And a 1999 Ford Mustang SVT Cobra. The model kit is from monogram number 85, 4014 in 124th scale. This kit was built in 2020, and it was also one of the first ones I built when I returned to the hobby. This is a 2005 Ford Mustang GT. The model kit is from Revell, number 07355 in 125th scale. And I built this kit during the year 2020, as well. And a more recent 2014 Ford Mustang GT. The model kit is from Revell, number 07061 in 125th scale. And this is also a more recent build, it's from last year. The kit has originally the body parts pre-colored, but I had to paint the blue strips on top of the front grille. The last one is this 2017 Ford Mustang GT4. The model kit is from Tamiya, number 24354 in 124th scale. I built the kit last year, and my livery option was the same as on the box top, the number 17 car, that took part in the 2017 Goodwood Festival of Speed. Additionally, I have this 1970 Ford Mustang Boss 302. 
The model kit is from Revell, number 85, 4943, in 124th scale. This kit is queued to be restored, it is still as I received it, very dirty and in need of attention. Perhaps during the duration of this group build, I'll find time to restore it. Now, let me show you my Mustang stash. These are the Mustang model kits that I have today in my stash, waiting to be built. A 64 and a half Ford Mustang convertible from Revell, number 07190, in 124th scale. The 1968 Mustang GT, from Steve McQueen in the movie Bullet, and the kit is from Revell, number 85, 4233, in 125th scale. This 1969 Mustang Boss 302, from Revell, number 4313, in 125th scale. A 1970 Boss Mustang that can be built either stock or street machine from Monogram number 2728 in 124th scale. This IMSA Mustang from 711 GPT and I think the year is 1984. The kit is from Monogram number 2709 in 124th scale. Also from 7-Eleven, a Mustang Funny Car, I think from 1985, and the kit is also from Monogram, number 2710, in 124th scale. A 90 Mustang LX 5.0, Drag Racer, from Revell, number 854195, in 125th scale. And finally, a 2013 Ford Mustang Boss 302, from Revell, number 07652, in 125th scale. So, from my Mustang stash, the kit I chose to build in this group build is... The Drag Racer 1990 Mustang LX 5.0 during the years of 1979 to 1993, the Mustang was offered in three body styles. While the prestigious GT was offered as the fastback, virtually the same equipment could be obtained on the LX. The lower price and lighter weight made the LX perfect for drag racing. This Revell kit is rated as skill level 5, containing more than 120 parts, and the box top shows a nice picture of the drag car. Here, we have information of the paint guide color used to build this model kit, and that the kit features, lightweight tubular front suspension, full racing interior, detailed V8 engine with custom injection, and it's molded in white, transparent red and clear, with chrome-plated parts, and soft black tires. On this side of the box, detailed photos of a built model kit are presented, as well as the information that this model kit was issued in 2017, and it is a Ford official licensed product. So, this is my model kit choice for the Ford Mustang 60th Anniversary Group build. Now, let's start building it, and happy builds to all participants. Thanks to all my subscribers, and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and comment down below, with any question or feedback. See you in the next video.